As we prepare to welcome the class of 2022 for the respect of the program and for those around you, please take this time to turn off or silence your cell phones. Will the audience please rise and remain standing for the processional of the senior class? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Bioscience High School's Class of 2022. <laughs> Please remain standing for the national anthem. Streaming, and the rock is red. 
Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Gentlemen, please remove your mortarboards and hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. <clears throat> Please welcome our distinguished guests who are with us tonight, Dr. Holly Batzel, Ms. Kay Haggerty, board member Mr. Stanford Prescott, and from district leadership, Ms. Laura Tellez. <clears throat> our first presenter will be Dr. Holly Batzel, who we will be giving the welcome address. Welcome, students, families, district staff, governing board members, and guests. Bienvenidos a todos. This is a happy time for us, one that marks a completion of four challenging years of perseverance, resilience, and determination. And the students worked hard too. Kidding aside, it does take a village to help young people move from childhood to adulthood. And these graduates would not be here today without the support of someone, most likely a network of people who supported them. We watched them grow, struggle, and blossom. We believed in them even when they faltered. But graduates, it was you who had to come through in the end. No one else could do it for you, especially at bioscience. There's a popular Japanese show that my wife and I started watching recently. It's called Old Enough. Have you seen it? In it, it's a reality show where Japanese parents send their three and four-year-old children on an errand alone into town or down the street to pick up something for mom or dad. Sometimes they have to cross the road, sometimes they have to take a bus, and they have hidden cameras along the way to watch as the toddlers overcome their fears they drop things and have to go back for them. They get lost and have to find their way again. And the children talk to themselves and they encourage themselves with a really strong desire to complete their mission. And when they return home victorious, they're filled with a sense of accomplishment and purpose in their family. And not to compare our high school students with toddlers because that's not what I'm doing. But the show gets something right. The best way for us to develop self-efficacy is through struggle and perseverance. That's how we develop resilience and what some people call grit. Every student here has had to develop some grit to survive four years of bioscience. They had to overcome their fears, talk themselves through failure, and find their way again when they've gotten lost. And there were times when they think they could not do it, but they did. And there were times when they thought they would not finish, but they did. And now they bring these strengths to their next life adventure. We know it is a challenging four years here at Bioscience. And I'd like to take the time to recognize some students who not only fulfilled that four-year mission, but who did so with exceptional skills. And although our district no longer designates valedictorian or salutatorian, I would still like to recognize the students who met that criteria. So would the following students stand in place when I read your name? Zoe Blocker Rubin. <laughs> Jessica Neri Romo. Harrison Toma. Alvin Zhang. <laughs> Sophia Goff. Aditya Kamala Bhavanam. Only took me four years, Aditya. Samantha Munoz. <laughs> Kathy Wynn. <laughs> Callum Pandalakis. Liz Rodriguez-Sahara. 
and Nicolette Tremblay. Way to persevere, graduates. Class of 2022, you've got to know, you are a class near and dear to my heart. I have been honored to be one of those people cheering you on through your challenging mission. Thank you for your hard work these four years. I am proud of you and excited for you and for your future. And now I would like to introduce Luna Galvan, who is going to perform for us a summer evening on the flute. Um, just before I actually play my piece, I would just like to say a few words. Um, and this, the piece I will be performing is one of the first pieces that I have performed in my time in Rosie's House. Rosie's House is a music program that's held downtown, and I was fortunate enough to be able to perform in there and to take my place. I, going into high school, I knew I wanted to continue music in some way or form, and Unfortunately, this school doesn't have a band, and I wasn't able to go to any other of my home schools. But I figured since this is the end of an era, in terms of both my high school career and my time um, at Rosie's house, I would just like to think of it as an ode to that period. Our next presenter of the evening will be the class of 2022 student body president, Nicolette Tremblay. I would like to begin by thanking every parent, family member, teacher, friend, and staff member in this room for dedicating their time and support to helping each graduate reach this moment. Let's give them a hand. I would also like to congratulate every single graduate for making it here and for all of your hard work these past four years. It was certainly not easy and I am genuinely happy for each person here today. We broke many records in high school, the best of which, I'm sure you will agree, was our Olympic Games championship in sophomore year and subsequent championship in senior year, a task that has never been accomplished in all of bioscience history. Additionally, our class has a large number of graduates and a high cumulative GPA, both of which are a testament to our perseverance and commitment. I hope all of you are incredibly proud of yourselves and excited for the next year and everything to come. 
Originally, I planned to include a plethora of cliche advice in this speech and then came to the realization that you've probably heard it all before from many people older and wiser than myself. Instead, I'm going to give you all the best guidance I have heard and hopes that it will aid you in the future. The first is to never cease playing around, whether it's sports, card games, video games, board games, anything at all, but do not give up the part of you that enjoys participating in games. Many people do after convincing themselves that they are too old, too busy, or too important. None of those things are true. Please don't follow in their footsteps. Be bold. Nothing astounding has ever happened to those who play it safe, and they're not the ones you'll find in any history book. Take risks. Oftentimes the things you're most afraid of are the ones worth doing. However, when you make the wrong choice, as all of us will, abolish the thought that your mistakes now define you. Poring over everything you've done wrong is pointless and will not lead to any progress. Reflect on what happened and then find a way to forgive yourself and move on. It does not matter how large the mistake was, thinking about it will not reverse it. Your time is better spent pursuing new challenges. Spontaneity is vastly important. Avoid allowing yourself to plan out every detail of your existence because spontaneous decisions are one of the best things this world has to offer. And determining every facet of your life only seems to tempt fate. This next piece is very obvious, and yet many individuals seem to get it wrong. Never do something you're not comfortable or content doing. It's extraordinarily simple, but many people end up with jobs they despise or have regrets about their past and the opportunities they didn't take. Your happiness is the most important thing in your life. Don't let the whirl of adulthood activities cloud that fact. Enjoy your life as you live it. Do not spend your time agonizing over the future or the past, but enjoy the day-to-day -day activities. Society teaches us that life is a collection of chronological milestones and goals that we must reach before moving on. It's ridiculous. Life is only a collection of interwoven events and memories. You deem what you believe is important. I hope this advice benefits you, or at least guides you in the right direction. Thank you all for the memories of high school and good luck in the coming months. I will always cherish the connections I made here and look back on them fondly. I hope you do the same. Enjoy the true beginning of your lives. They're yours alone now. For the first time in all of our years, we are truly the sole benefactor of our choices. Make them count. Thank you. Thank you, Nicolette. Now I would like to welcome our next speaker to the podium, Kellen Prokopchak, who will be given the, se the senior address. First, I thank you all for coming. Not just parents and teachers, but my fellow graduates too. This is really bittersweet. I would argue that these are not the good old days, as we have been constantly taught to believe. This idea is so unrelatable. This notion that the four years we spent in high school will surpass every year before and after is so outrageous. I promise every single one of you that this is not the peak. You have absolutely not peaked. High school is an inherently awkward place in which we lay the foundation to enter adult life or endure another four years of school, or for those of you who want to be doctors, another 10 to 12. Your peaks are undoubtedly yet to come. Although high school was by no means traditional or normal for us, we have become better than we were in ninth grade. That in itself is powerful growth. Freshman year, we were faced with endless projects asking us to define who we are. To clarify, we still have no idea. It feels like we will always be too young to know who we are. Is it fair to nudge 13 and 14 year olds into supervised identity crises? I don't know, but I can give some credit to the process. Putting ourselves in such uncomfortable situations means better understanding the way we work, and that's proven to be extremely valuable. Our class is notably competitive. We choose not to recognize the Olympic Games loss we were forced to undergo as freshmen, which we all know was due to a pity point given to the class of 2019. <laughs> However, this snub only made us stronger. We won sophomore year, first class to do it. We would have won junior year. And in 2021, we inevitably crushed the competition once again. All of our Olympic part Games participants are heroes. We see you, love you, and appreciate you. I asked my classmates about some more highlights over the last four years. A lot is hard to remember. We can think about our school winning a Bryce Vine concert with complete and utter confusion. His live performance was almost as good as the DJ who played at this year's prom. 
There was the time we baked bread in biochem and had a Great British Baking Show S competition. Instead of being civilized, however, we might have looked more like Gordon Ramsay, another testament to our of our need to win. We're the biggest graduating class in bioscience history. We are, again, champions. We can and will do big things. Keep Googling our names. Eventually, one of us will become a Nobel Prize winning engineer or the doctor to finally cure cancer. We are innovative, strong, hardworking individuals who have left a mark on our school. As we leave, we must thank the faculty who helped us get this far. You are the backbone of our educational journey. Please take a second to recognize how significant that is. You pushed us to get scholarships and college acceptances. You inspired us with your teaching and ultimately guided us to deeply understand who we are and strengthen the values we identify with. We are deeply grateful for you. We are leaving the comfortable 400-person community that is bioscience and going to colleges with thousands of people, some of which are located in entirely different climates and cultures. Go out and decide who you are. Congrats to the class of 2022. Thank you, Kellen. I would now like to welcome to the podium, Mrs. Brooke Shapiro-Heisel. This doesn't get easier standing up here. Good afternoon, bioscience families, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2022. Thank you for selecting me to speak today. I will be honest, thinking about what to say to you is challenging. Minus a handful of in-person students at the end of the year, we spent your entire junior year online. I thought to myself, what the heck am I going to say to these students? The majority of whom I spent 180 days looking at through blank boxes with your initials, if we were lucky. What can I say to students whose faces I didn't see until August 5th of this year? Once my panic subsided, I had a realization. There is so much to say. I have known about half of you since your first year at bioscience when you were essentially still eighth graders at Freshman Academy. I remember first thinking to myself, thank goodness I don't teach freshmen. But I also remember thinking, wow, these people are talented, sensitive, caring, funny. I mean, what is funnier than getting to call Charlie by his self-appointed nickname, Cheese? And what is more beautiful than listening to Luna expertly play the flute all those years ago and today? I loved watching the friendships you made during that summer class continue into the rest of your freshman year and really throughout the rest of your time at bio. It was difficult to keep track of how you were doing once sophomore year started, but I was so excited to reconnect with those I had previously worked with and get to know those I hadn't met before once your junior year rolled around. I can really say that getting to know all of you as a whole group felt like the completion of a puzzle. Your connection as a unit had and still radiates an incredible energy. It is your positivity, your kindness and patience that I focused on when writing this speech. I know that I'm speaking for the entire junior team when I say that it was because of who you are as people that we were able to get through one of the most difficult years of teaching most of us have ever had. You were understanding at a time when we really needed it. You endured countless moments of your teacher's Wi-Fi going down and us telling each other we were frozen. Our birds chirping, Miss Smith, dogs barking, and kids crying or interrupting class to ask what, what was for lunch. What would we have done if we hadn't received daily dad jokes from Cal and Scotty or interesting facts about cheese from Cade? By the way, the world's most expensive cheese is made from donkey milk and is priced at $600 per pound. <laughs> it's called Puel. <laughs> but back to you guys. The little things you did for us, like participating in silly online games, taking us on uh, tours of your homes, sending us pictures of your puppies and kittens, and doing as much as you could to learn and grow while also balancing the chaos of life 
made everything better. P.S. It still saddens me to think about all the times that Ms. Furlano and I had to laugh at our own jokes while teaching online. But I like to pretend that while you were muted with cameras off, you were laughing from home. You shared deeply personal experiences with us, you trusted us, and worked to stay as connected with us and the rest of your class as you could. It took a lot of energy and huge hearts to work as hard as you all did. And I will never forget the efforts of our student leaders who organized family time and pushed their classmates, sorry, pushed their classmates to keep their cameras on. They knew how important it was to be seen and to remain a part of something even when we were sitting alone in front of our computers. It truly made the difference. This is all to say that there wasn't a whole lot to like about last year, but man, did we love you guys. I wish we could have been in person together and had more fun, but I'm grateful to have shared your junior year, and I'm extra happy to have witnessed you come to the end of your journey at bioscience in person this year. And finally, as you move forward toward your next phase in life, I hope that you enter into any challenges you experience the same way you did as sophomores during the Olympic Games, winning it all and far exceeding everyone's expectations. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Ms. Shapiro Heisel. I would now like to welcome our next speaker to the podium, Mr. Milt Johnson. Hi, grads. You ready for some bad jokes? Good. So if you don't know, I'm a math teacher, and I have bad math teacher jokes. All right, so the first one is, what is a dairy farmer's favorite type of math? Calculus, of course. The next one is, what is the derivative of a velociraptor? An acceleraptor. Okay, never mind. Ah, tough crowd. So if you invite a math teacher, you get bad jokes. Um, last one, I once asked the stats teacher for her age. She told me it was 3.0 plus or minus, 3.0 times 10 to the first plus or minus five years. I still don't know. Never trust a stats teacher. So, you should know that there are three types of people in the world. Those who get math jokes and those who don't. But anyway, grads, this is your party. We're happy to see you today. We're glad you're here. But I want to talk for a minute to the parents, right? Because parents, family, you're here and you're here to celebrate. And it's a big deal, right? You've worked hard for this moment. And I too am a parent. I have two teenage, teenage sons, one of whom does go to bioscience. Uh, parenting is a lot of work, right? I figured when my kids started school, they would come home each day and be excited about what they learned at school. They would talk about their teachers and how much they learned and how exciting it was. I figured video games would never be a distraction. I thought they would go to bed on time. I thought they would go to bed at a decent hour. Right? But none of that happened, right? So I applaud you for the hard work you've done, right? And helping them to be successful, helping them to be on track. You've worked hard, but your journey's not over either. And you know that, and I as a parent know that as well. But grads, please make sure that you take the time today to thank your family, your parents, those who have supported you and helped you to get here, right? You didn't do it by yourself, right? You've done the labor Right? You've done the heavy lifting, but you've had a lot of support. Make sure that you are there to support your family as well. So grads, where am I? I'm totally not following this speech. I'm somewhere in here. Okay. So graduates, let me talk to you for just a minute. First of all, I just want to say that you are amazing. It's been a fun year. People ask me, how did this year go? And I say, any year that's not a pandemic, that's not behind a camera, has been an amazing year. And it's been great to see your faces. It's been great to see you in person, to work with you. Um, I stand amazed by all of you, and I respect you tremendously. You've put in a lot of hard work, um, especially with last year, with the pandemic, right? That was hard, and it was a setback in some ways, but you guys have blossomed, and you've come through that, and I congratulate you for that, right? Through the year, we've had our share of fun. We've um, done some cool things, engineering students. Remember, you got to build a phone app for a child with Down syndrome. You got to 3D print viruses. That was pretty cool, right? But as many have mentioned, you also won the Olympic Games for like four or five years in a row. It's pretty amazing, congratulations. You even beat the teachers of volleyball, but don't tell anybody. 
<laughs> so I want to congratulate you guys. I'm sure you have lots of great memories, accomplishments that you'll take with you, right? But as I've told many of you, high school is not the pinnacle. It's just a stepping stone, and it only gets better. So you have a lot to look forward to. Now, as teachers, it's time for us to get out of your way. It's time for us to watch you go out and change the world, to make a difference. You have the skills and you have the confidence to make this world an even better place. We're going to be watching, right? But, you know, most of you will be too busy to look back and come back and remember bioscience, and that's fine. We understand that. But every once in a while, you can hashtag us, right? You can always find me at Happy International Math Day, hashtag. Okay, so be sure to remember us every once in a while. We'll be cheering for you. So in closing, I want to just thank, I want to thank all of you, but there are a couple of just students that come to mind that I think about as a teacher, how much I've learned and how much I've been reminded every day and how much you guys have just made it a great year. Um, I think of Scotty, who reminded me every day to laugh with her jokes, right? Those were great. I think of Jasmine, who taught me every day something new. I never knew what a Peltier module was, and now I do. I think of Sam, who always taught me to check my work before giving it to students because Sam always found my mistakes. Thank you for that, Sam. Okay? <laughs> think of Anthony, B, who reminded me that math can be messy and fun. Right? Was it Dirty Math with Anthony.com? Look it up. Okay? And lastly, I think of Ozzy and Hector and Joel, Charlie and Peter, who reminded me that pool noodles should never be left unattended in my classroom. So thank you guys. I'm going to miss you all. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. I would now like to welcome a governing board member, Mr. Stanford Prescott, to the podium. Hello, how's everybody doing? My name's Stanford Prescott. I'm proud to be your uh, Phoenix Union High School District governing board member. Uh, me llamo Stanford Prescott y soy miembro de la mesa directiva de las escuelas uh, Phoenix Union. Uh, además, yo soy un graduado orgulloso de nuestro distrito. Uh, I'm a proud graduate of our district. Uh, first things first, congratulations to our students. Felicidades a los estudiantes. Many of us, myself included, graduate only because of the love and support of our families and the dedication of our teachers. Although tonight is about our students, uh, let's recognize those who helped uh, get us here. Students, please rise and give some applause for your families and for your teachers. Gracias a todos los padres y todos los maestros. You can be seated. Students, you are powerful. I want you to recognize that you have made a series of positive decisions that have brought you here today to graduate. You've decided to go to class, decided to stay out of trouble, decided to learn. You have had power and control over your own life and the decisions that brought you here. Now as high school graduates, you'll have more decisions to make, where to work, what to study, what to accomplish with your life. You have the ultimate power to choose the answer to these questions. You've proven that today by the decisions that have led you here. There will be challenges, but you have the power to overcome them. You also have the power to change your community. The past few years have revealed the serious challenges uh, facing our nation and our planet. I encourage you to be active in your community. Vote, advocate, and lead for the causes that you care about. We need you to express your voice. You have the power to control your life and shape your community. Use it. Congratulations to the powerful class of 2022. Go Bioscience. Thank you, Mr. Prescott. I would now like to welcome Dr. Holly Batchel back up to the podium for the presentation of the diplomas. Thank you, Ms. Furlano. And would you all please welcome again and join me in welcoming governing board member, Mr. Stanford Prescott. All right, and at this point, the moment you've all been waiting for, um, would the graduating class of 2022 please rise for the presentation?
Mr. Prescott, I present to you the graduating class of 2022 of Bioscience High School. The students assembled here have completed the requirements for graduation as established by the State of Arizona and the Phoenix Union High School District. Dr. Batzell, on behalf of the Governing Board of the Phoenix Union High School District, I accept these seniors of the 2022 graduating class of Bioscience High School. Graduates, please be seated. We are now ready to present the diplomas. At this time, I would like to welcome Ms. Nadia Smith, who will be reading the names of the graduating students. Would the graduates on stage please rise and come forward to receive your diploma and shake hands with our distinguished guests. Luna Isabella Galvan. Nicolette Ann Trembley. Kellen Ann Pro Prokopchow. <laughs> Would the graduates in the first row please rise and come forward to receive your diplomas. <laughs> Scotty Renee Adkins. Itzel Aispuro Zambrano. <laughs> Jennifer Alvarado. <laughs> Natalie Gabriel Alvarez. <laughs> Osvaldo Alvarez. Yesenia Blanco Anaya. Peter Andrade. Cristela Aranda Torres. Juliana Macaya Arias. Joanna Yadira Arredondo. <laughs> Destiny Jade Arroyo. <laughs> Ariana Shanti Barnett. <laughs> Zoe Alia Blocker Rubin. Charles William Brandt. <laughs> Salvador Carl Jesus Caballero. <laughs> Michaela Andrea Caceres. <laughs> Carolina Cañedo. Jasmine Cannon. Corina Aide Cervantes Valencia. Leticia Contreras. Jennifer Alicia Diaz.
Christian Juan Diego Dupont. Jacqueline Luisa Espinosa Cobian. Rosie Flores Ramos. Sophia Edwina Goff. Lucas Cole Gonzalez. Piotr Jacek Gregorovich Top. Carlos Allen Grijalva. Liliana Juliet Gutierrez Galvan. Wendy Gutierrez Leva. Diego Guzman Miramontes. Zora Leah Hennigan. Ethan Johan Juarez Irra. Aditya Shibu Kamala Bhavanam. Jennifer Linez. Brian Kevin La Madrid. Mari Netza Lara. Kim Fung Lee. Danny Wyatt Little. Drohan Sutero Lord. Amos Gamaliel Martinez. Anthony Matthew Martinez. Sarah Gabriela Martinez. <laughs> Judith Martinez Benitez. <laughs> Jasmine Itzel Martinez Castillo. <laughs> Julivan Medrano Cruz. Leila Sarai Mejia Vera. Sebastian Meneses. Leslie Irene Mercado. Sam Mizell. Joel Montoya. Melina Sarai Morales Aguilar. Jamie Aide Morales Alvarez. <laughs> Brianna Moreno Sotelo. <laughs> 
Samantha Roberta Munoz. Jessica Jocelyn Neri Romo. Kathy T. Nguyen. Michelle Alejandra Padilla Soto. Sophia Grace Page. Callum Elias Pandalakis. Hector Daniel Paredes Galdames. Viviana Esperanza Perez. Daniela Perez Pantoja. Anthony Prudencio. Jaden Rayanne Richardson. Marianne Robledo. America Jewel Rodriguez. Gavin Rodriguez. Jonathan Alexander Rodriguez. Liz Betsy Rodriguez Sahara. Annabelle Maya Rosal. Ulysses Ruiz. Ariel Sanchez Perez. Frank Jason Sepulveda Torres. Tier Kieran Gabriel Simmons LaRose. Angela Soto Gutierrez. Olivia Evelyn Stevenson. Harrison Todd Tama. Faith Aliyah Thompson. Jose Antonio Torres Bonilla. Giselle Valencia Garfias. <laughs> Stephanie Vasquez Valtierra. <laughs> Jaden Joshua Velasquez. <laughs> Jocelyn Velasquez Pineda. Anthony Velasquez Cruz. <laughs> Mia Waxman. <laughs> Peyton Nicole White. <laughs> Al
Alvin Singh. Our closing speech tonight will be delivered by Ms. Ashley Burkhart. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Um, so before I get started, I feel like anybody that knows me um, knows that I have horrible ADHD and like kind of counteract that with being ahead of the thi ahead of things, getting things done probably a little bit earlier than needs to be, and I know I kind of uh, annoy my teammates sometimes. But this speech I kept pushing off and pushing off, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna write it, I'm gonna write it. And I was like, why am I procrastinating so bad? And I realized it's because it's a farewell speech. Um, and so I digress, as my biotech and uh, statistics students know, I like to get off topic, but I'm circling back. Um, and so I just wanted to just to acknowledge that. It took me some time to write it, um, but I, uh, I hope it says everything that I want to say and more. Anyway, so good morning, bioscience family. Um, let me begin again by saying how honored I am to be able to address the wonderful class of 2022. Um, they are an incredible bunch of young adults, as I'm sure you all know. Um, but I would like to take a minute or two, and I promise it'll be quick, um, to share why I believe these dragons are destined to change the world. Our seniors fearlessly navigated the challenges of returning to in-person learning while balancing internships, college applications, and corny jokes from their senior teachers. And you all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> they fought for justice in moot court, collaborated as engineers and biotechnologists to prevent the next zombie apocalypse, and most importantly, not only did they win the 2021-2022 Olympic Games, right, our first, uh, Ms. V, and, and my first Olympic Games, but in my advisory, we also won Senior End Games. It was great, okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> I have a, we have trophies to prove it. Anyway, um, <laughs> so their passion, energy, and dedication was evident right, in every project they completed and every challenge they faced head on. I'm sure we can all agree that our seniors are brilliant, but I was fortunate enough to get to know them beyond academics. The endless love, support, and grace they showed not only to me, but everyone around them has been incredibly inspiring. I mean, they cheered their senior teachers on while we battled it out on Dance Dance. I almost said Dance Dance Revolution, but I don't think that's a thing anymore. Uh, during senior end games, and they never made fun of us for it. Well, at least not to our faces. And let's not forget the unbelievable growth that you all demonstrated while learning to sing happy birthday during senior family time. I mean, it was truly mind blowing. Like, those of you who don't know, it was very like quiet in the beginning and by the end, it was just the full chorus, it was, it was amazing. Um, and as a quick segue, I wanted to take a moment to uh, wish um, Miss uh, Jaden Richardson, a happy 18th birthday today. So I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Um, I figured we would sing happy birthday, but I, I don't want to embarrass you, Jaden. So maybe afterwards. <laughs> so in addition to teaching us how to stay connected through compassion while we continue to battle a global pandemic and adjusting to our new normal, I know everybody loves that phrase. Um, they taught me some new vocabulary. I mean, I, hopefully I'm going to say this right, and if I don't, I'm sorry. But in other words, class of 2022 slaps, and they love to spill the tea, shoddy. Did I say that right? Did you do it? Okay, cool. I don't know. I'm old. So as I reflect with you here today, I realize that I've learned more from these seniors than I could have ever expected. And I will always in honor, honor and cherish the class of 2022. The brilliance, dedication, and compassion our seniors demonstrated on a daily basis is just one of the many reasons why I firmly believe they're going to continue to change our world for the better. Now I'm at that point where I need to wrap up my speech because I'm sure you all want to celebrate. Um, I want to end with some wishes for the class of 2022. As you embark on the next journey, 
Never forget how resilient you are. Remember that your bio family will always love you and be here for you. And remember, keep your eyes on the prize, hold on. Congratulations, my friends. I am so very proud of you. I love all of you. Oh, and my brother says congratulations as well. This is it, you guys. Graduates of the class of 2022, please stand. You may now move the tassel on your mortar board to the left side, which signifies that you have graduated from high school. On behalf of the Bioscience High School staff and all who are in attendance at today's ceremony, I am honored to offer you our congratulations. <laughs> Family and friends, we encourage you to meet our graduates outside in the parking lot at the top of the south side exit ramp. This concludes the graduation ceremony. Please rise as the graduates exit. Thank you for coming and please have a safe rest of your day.